the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I recall God's works. What I have seen, I will describe. At God's word were his works brought into being. They do his will as he has ordained for them. As the rising sun is clear to all, so the glory of the Lord fills all his works. Yet even God's holy ones must fail in recounting the wonders of the Lord. Though God has given these, his hosts, the strength to stand firm before his glory. He plumbs the depths and penetrates the heart. Their innermost being he understands. The Most High possesses all knowledge and sees from of old the things that are to come. He makes known the past and the future and reveals the deepest secrets. No understanding does he lack. No single thing escapes him. Perennial is his almighty wisdom. He is from all eternity, one and the same, with nothing added, nothing taken away, no need of a counselor for him. How beautiful are all his works, even to the spark and fleeting vision. The universe lives and abides forever to meet each need. Each creature is preserved. All of them differ, one from another, yet none of them has he made in vain. For each in turn, as it comes, is good. Can one ever see enough of their splendor? The word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea as in a flask. In cellars, he confines the deep. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world revere him. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. We're going to look at the, this first reading today from the book of Sirach. It's recalling God's works and how great God's works are. It names here, the rising of the sun is clear to all, and how the glory of the Lord fills all of his works, that's all of his creation. And I, you know, I often hear people say, you know, when I'm out in nature, that's where I experience God. It's really, it's a beautiful sentiment, a a beautiful thought. It's a deep part of our tradition as well. Many of the saints speak about kind of the two scriptures, the scripture of creation, but also the scripture of the scriptures, the scripture scriptures. And in this way, the scriptures of creation, of course, we believe so deeply that God created them, that we, we look out on the world that they, they are not God. So it's different from pantheism, believing that all things are God. But they, they reveal God. They reveal something of God, the, the wonder of them. Uh, and it, it's, it's important to see, too, that it's, it's not, you know, the, often there's that argument that in, in creation, we look at to see the order of creation. There had to be a God. And that's true. That's a, that's a beautiful part of our tradition as well. But there, there's a deeper part when we look out at creation and we see the wonder of it. It's meant to lead us actually to come to know God better. So it's not just to, to come to believe that there is a God, but actually to come to know him better. When we see the wonder, the splendor, and how wonderful it is, actually the scriptures here reveal how we get there. We see how good and wonderful creation is. And we wonder, the one who created all of those things is even greater, far, far greater, far more beautiful, far more wonderful. Love, love the way Sirach here describes it. He's the one who plums the depths, who sees all of these things, has created all of these things, provided for all of them. So obviously he is so much greater than all of them. He plums the depths. He knows what has happened, what will happen. It can, to, to reading that scripture of nature can bring us very far. You know, it's why sometimes I, I advise people who are, are struggling whatever in their faith or perhaps they're just, um, are just down in the dumps. It's, it's, it can be helpful to go for a walk in nature, spend time in the world or just being more rooted in our bodies, wondering at the mystery, even of of the creation that we are, can lead us to have deeper confidence in God, draw draw more deeply to Him. Of course, there's also a deep continuity between the Scriptures and the Scriptures of nature, because there is only the one God, the one God who created the world, and the one God who is revealed in the Scriptures. 
that one God who, be, who took on flesh and became one of us, it's all deeply connected. It brings us to greater worship, helps us to understand him more deeply. Let's stand together and offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For all members of the, of the Holy Church, may the Lord help us lead lives of holiness and faithfulness. We pray to the Lord. For all who serve in public office, may God's knowledge and wisdom be upon them and in them. We pray to the Lord. For all who experience prolonged suffering, may God's healing power bring them relief and restoration. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the Lord look graciously upon our every need and bless us with a spirit of perseverance in prayer. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Dagan Larson, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, may God welcome them into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. All powerful and all knowing God, your glorious works surround us in our world. Hear our prayers today and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. and Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, the professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.